I came from Indianapolis. Uh, my dad got transferred in 1974. I got married and moved to O'Fallon in 1981 and uh, been here ever since. I was a soccer coordinator up at Assumption, so to me that's a little politics there with running the soccer program. You do what's best for the majority of the kids. And when uh, the mayor at the time and councilman, or uh, then Alderman Perkins, came to me and asked me, since they re did, redrew the, the districts of the wards, they didn't have anybody in Ward 4, and they had asked me to run. And uh, I talked it over with my wife, Debbie. And in 1999, I ran for, for the Board of Aldermen and was elected, and, and which was a good year because that's the year we opened City Hall. After four years, how does Mayor Hennessy see his first term, and what event stands out the most? You know, it, it was all I expected. It was a great experience. Being 10 years on the, on the council, I kind of knew what was going to be expected. It's a little bit more time than what I thought, but to me, that's part of the job, and you know, you do it here, you do it for the people. And you got to have your family support and your friends support to be able to do this. If it's, you're asking what my proudest moment as mayor of the city of O'Fallon is, probably when we opened Brendan's Playground. Uh, just to watch the massive people go in and play and watch the kids get off of swings and slides so other kids could, could do that, it was, it was heartwarming. When I ran for mayor in 2009, I wanted a playground like that here. I think we deserved one here. We have people coming all from all over the county, from all over the state to come visit Brendan's Playground. I've got comments that it's one of the best playgrounds in the state. There's no question in Mayor Hennessy's mind, what makes O'Fallon special? I think it's the residents and the businesses that we have here. Uh, the, the residents, the volunteers that come out and go to our boards and commissions, but come out here for Garden Expo Day, for Founders Day, for Heritage and Freedom Fest. It's all our volunteers that help make our city what it is, and without our volunteers, I don't think O'Fallon would be what we are today. How does one balance the time demands of a family a full-time job, and being mayor of an 80,000 resident city. I made it a point back in 1999 when I ran that Monday through Thursday I'll do stuff with the city. You know, whatever, if it's early in the morning, late in the night, or whatever it is, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I leave for my family. Now there are special occasions for Founders Day and Garden Expo Day and all that stuff that I, that I will come out and do, but 90% of the time, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is family time. Just what are Mayor Hennessy's priorities for his second term? To get a new justice center, because we are outgrown City Hall, and I know the police department and our court system needs a new place. To get Civic Hall completed, my hope is to connect Civic Hall with Alligators Creek and make it one complex thing where you know you can have wedding receptions there, you can have whatever you want to do there. So those two things is my biggest priorities right now. After 14 years in public service, Mayor Hennessy has a good idea about what it takes to be an elected official. Our job is not to run the city. I think our job as the mayor and the 10 councilmen is to give the direction to our city staff and let them carry out those wishes. I'm a service technician, been that for 35 years. I don't know anything about streets, I don't know anything about human resources or, you know, any of the departments, really. My big thing is, let's give the direction, this is where we want the city to go in the next one year, next five years, next 20 years, and have staff get, come back with the council and the elected officials and say, here's four or five different options. What do you think? You do it for the people. You, you do it for the right reasons. You don't do it for yourself. You do it for the better, the betterment of the community. As I said, I, for 14 years, I've been able to put my head down on my pillow at night knowing that I've made O'Fallon a better place and hopefully, you know, in the next one years, five years, 20 years, people look back and say, yeah, he did a great job.